1051. Power 1051 is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. We got a special guest in the building. The Broad Street Bully from Philly, Beanie Siegel. What did it do? What up, Siegs? Now, now last, time, last time I interviewed Siegel, it was 2009. And you got fired right after. Got fired three <laughs> days later. You know, Siegel, Siegel gave me a great interview. That's when uh, the whole situation that just broke between him and Jay. And you were in Philly. I was in Philly, so I got that exclusive first. Right. I don't know if I'll call it an exclusive. I got the first interview with Siegel right after it. Yeah. One of the biggest interviews of my career. That's yeah. Fun. Yeah, big because yeah. you actually also lost your job right now. But that's after. good, though. I mean, you yeah, know. It's great. You, know, you don't learn nothing. Uh, you learn a lot through adversity, I guess you can call it. You know, more than success, I would think so. I think everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Worked out in my, my favor. Yeah. All right, so let's see what happens you know what three days from today. <laughs> 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 so what's going on, Beans? A lot, man. I got... This album I'm pushing right now. I, album coming out when? Tuesday, what label? Right? Yeah, yeah. What label is it on, or is it independent? What we doing? Yeah, State Property Rough House. Rough House. Yeah. And you actually state have State Property, property on State Property Rough House. Yeah. You have State Property on the album. Yeah, yeah. Which is a big deal. I big remember when thing. I spoke to yeah. Freeway, he said you guys were in talks about doing something again. Yes. So is that gonna happen? Yeah, we definitely want to do that. We definitely want to do that. Is that something y- y- y'all really want to do, or y'all just feel like, okay? No, I think it's something that we really want to do and something that really need to be done. Did you record, like, a whole lot of stuff already so that when you're locked up that you can have some music out on the streets yeah, besides we the got, album, too? Maybe they could put together the State Property album? Yeah, we got a lot of, lot of material. I know I am. I'm in the studio every day, so... It's just up to them going in and then doing what they got to do. Now, was State Property a, a foundation is a, there? Was State Property a clique that you grew up with each other, or was it something that was put together? Because I never understood State Property. I thought that at one time you guys were, well, nah, grew up with each other. No, nah, we you think they're a boy band. You think they just put them together? No, nah, but mm-hmm. I thought they were all from the same hood and they all knew each other. Uh, I didn't nah, know if they were put together from the, from the same uh, city. Uh, I knew Freeway mm-hmm. and uh, Freeway knew Petey. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's how that relationship started. I met Chris and Neef and uh, Owen Sparks through, uh, you know, mutual friends. And we just linked up, mm-hmm. got together, uh, heard them spit. They came up. Like, uh, at that time in my career in Philly, you know, we were so overlooked on Farvest MCs and stuff. Uh, when I heard these guys, I, I was trying to bring the whole Philadelphia uh, uh, up in New York to mm-hmm. try to get on because people didn't look at uh, Philly as having dope MCs or mm-hmm. MCs that really can rap and I knew I knew what I could do. Right. Yeah, Black Thought. I would say street rappers. It wasn't yeah, those, those yeah. You had black, you had black, yeah, Black Thought. You know what I mean? You had other rappers that was around doing anything that they and they errors like the ESTs and Steady Bs and all of them. But I'm talking about people who really was getting busy like in, in, in the street that was doing their thing. Was the Fresh Prince ever an influence on you? Because I always say the Fresh Prince was dope, but Will Smith was whack. Like Will Smith the rapper was just getting jiggy with it. But Fresh Prince, Nightmares on My Street, I you think I could be Mike Tyson. He was actually kinda nice. Yeah, his error, yeah. Was he an influence on you ever? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, now, I'm keeping it 100. Now, recently when you performed here in New York City, you actually paid a little bit of a tribute to Meek Mill. You guys have a good relationship? Yeah, I love Meek, man, for what he's doing. Like, uh, looking at Meek Mills is 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 a fun thing to do because it's like looking at myself uh, coming in with Rockefeller at the age of 22, 23 years old, and him the same thing with Ross with Maybach Music and him accomplishing you know what he's doing is 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 a good feeling a lot of people like when you in the mix of it and you running time go by quick so when you 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 on the road and you doing shows and you on tours and you don't really get to see your career until it's over and you sit back and watch documentaries that people did and have footage that they put together right. of things you did and you're like, wow, I remember that. But me, I, I, I'm blessed with being able to look at Meek Mills do his thing with Ross. And do you give many any advice? Because you had a lot of trials and tribulations with Rockefeller and, and, and spending money, frivolous money, and, and wasting money. Do you ever talk uh, to him and say... Don't people do this. people around you spending your yeah, money. Yeah, don't do this, do that. 
is is a big difference between well coming up with Rockefeller, we was the La Familia, the family. Mm -hmm. Everything is business. Mm. I learned that the hard way, and there's a big difference between family and relatives. Right. So that family word get tossed around real loosely. Learn the business, man. Stay on top of your business and keep it all the way business. Have you ever spoke to uh, Jay and Dame recently or no? No. Then not even Dame? No. Any intention? Do you, do you want to? or you, that's, 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 that's done already. I pretty much think the Rockefeller thing is over. I know Memphis Bleak said he did reach out to you, but you said that never really happened? No. I don't know how. Uh, no. Well, did you, mean, you, you were supposed to do a project with Ross and uh, Fat Joy one time, right? The Fat Boys at one point? No, I was just something that I was joking around with on, on, <laughs> oh, on the radio. Oh, I thought that Kinda was... Kind of like your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie, Charlamagne. <laughs> no, nah, nah, I'm, listen, I'm serious for that if Jeezy and Jada and Neil want to do that with me. We can do that. That would actually work out, I think. Mm -hmm. teenage, <laughs> teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Me, Neil, Jeezy, and Jada. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now let's get back to your, your issues. I know you you are putting this album out on Tuesday. Yeah. And if now you owe some money in taxes, if you pay that money, could you avoid jail time or is it just too late now? No, I'm Al Capone, man. I'm Al Capone. I, I, I think, uh, you know, I had a, a lot of, a uh, couple other legal issues that. I could have been away for a very, very long time, but due to the, the caliber of, uh, you know, legal attorneys that I had, uh, and just, you know, me being me, and not guilty is all I can say. Uh, when you, it, it, I had a colorful life before uh, Beanie Siegel, and, you know, I was, in the street doing certain little things that I wasn't proud of. And I think I got in more trouble when I was being a seagull than I did when I was doing things that I wasn't supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, when, uh, and, you know, not getting uh, arrested or, 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 or incarcerated for those things. So when, when it looked like you, when you thumbing the nose at the system, and now they 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 want you and they can't seem to grab you. Like I said, I, I think I fell under the Al Capone syndrome. It's like, yo, we can't get nothing on this guy. So let's stick him with this. And yeah, what they what they get Al Capone with taxes? They couldn't right. get him with nothing. You know, it's no secret. I I I I've been arrested for attempted murder charges mm -hmm. uh, twice. You know what I mean? Beat both cases. Had a federal gun case facing seven years. Only got a year for for that. And it's like, yo, we can't get this guy. And before that, you know, uh, read the papers. Ninety four took the cops to war. Right. You know, what I mean, this is all. Do you ever real? Yeah. You ever get mad or upset with yourself because you were the gooch? For no, for people called me. For gave Rockefeller, me that name. Well, you were the good. You were the one that if there was a problem, they knew that Beanie lyrically. was coming. Lyrically and physically at times. Allegedly. If need be. If need be. Yeah, we've heard stories. Uh, Kanye was in the diner about to get robbed. And you came you, in and you held him down. Yeah, you come in and say, don't you But eat that ain't food. no bully. Not, and that ain't nothing. That's like, that. We like I said, we was the La Familia. We was the family. That was my brother. Like, he was the dutter man. Taking something from him is right. like taking something from me. I would have did that for not only Kanye, I would have did that for Bleak, I would have did that for Free, Jay, Dane, Biggs, anybody. But did you, do you feel that because you were that guy that they can call no matter what, that kind of went when it feels like... I shouldn't have had to be that guy when you at the, the caliber of uh, a company that we had. It should have been securities that... Right. Or was hired to But do you that. were the guy. And it seems like... Where's my it, security It checks? seems like when the guy got too hot, everybody stepped away from the guy. <laughs> he said, where's the security checks? Yeah, right. It, it, it seems like when the <laughs> no, guy got too hot, everybody incident. stepped away from him. It was him. a lot of incidents where, you know, it was higher security, but they was just big for nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, they just was in a way. So, you know. It just felt like when, I mean, when, when it got too hot, from. it just felt like everybody stepped away from you. You know, when, when you were helping the situation out, when they needed yeah, it. It was all good then. Right. And then it seems like when, when that happened, so, I mean. So, do you, do, how do you, do, 
like, do you lose love for people? Like, you say, okay, for somebody that you would actually hold down in that situation, whether it was pulling your pistol, or like, do you just lose the love for a person? No, it's just disappointing, man. You know, that's why I said you, 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 I learned the hard way is the difference between family and relatives. You know, family, they come through and they hold you down. They they, they, they bring you soup when you're sick. You know what I mean? Uh, relatives that come through a couple flowers on your casket when you're dead and come to the repast with plates and aluminum for you right. and, and and take the food at the cookout. They come to the cookout with, with, with plates and aluminum for you to pack up, stay for a couple minutes and go home. You seem like you're in a different place now because talking to you before, Benny, you would just be more like, I'm going to kill everybody. But now you seem more calm. Nah, man. What, is that, what does that do yeah. to See that that's the whole thing. Like you, you I, I, I'm 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 stereotyped from that state property movie, that character, that Beanie Seagull thing. Nah, and not only that. This is a lot more. Well, well, like, like what? Um, the engineer at the studio. What engineer? So you beat the blood out of the engineer one time. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. Allegedly. A couple of incidents that out there. That, that does, that's where, where, does, where the statement came from. Does it bother you when you hear records that you know are about you, but your name's not being said? Like the like the "I Love You So" record off the Washington Throne. Uh, you used to, but uh, I, it don't matter no more. And they just words, you know. What I mean, people profess to say stuff, and it just be on the tip of their tongues. It got it. It ain't from here, you know. What I mean. It, many people walk in and out your life, but only true friends leave footprints in your heart. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, what are you gonna do differently now moving forward? Because I know part of the reason why you had some tax issues is you said that when you were away before, family members actually kind of sucked you dry with your money. And yeah, that's part of the reason why you're in the predicament that you're in. Does that mean now that you have to just realize, okay, I gotta stop looking out for people? Yeah, I looked out for everybody. I, don't, I, 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 at one point, I didn't have a respect for, for, money. It didn't, it didn't, I didn't, it didn't hold no value to me. Uh, Cause I it was just more, coming too fast. Not that it was coming too fast. I didn't think that it, 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 it was coming. It would come to an end. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I. Uh, I acquired a lot of things in, in a short period of time of being with Rockefeller within the, uh, two and a half years of being Beanie Siegel. Mm -hmm. It seemed like it was a long time, uh, been a long time, but I, I, I got signed to 99 and went straight on the tour with, with Jay-Z and didn't ink my deal till after I came off of the tour of the Hard Knock Tour. So mm -hmm. I was only Beanie Siegel from 2000 to 2002. Mm -hmm. 2002, that's when I caught my case. But within them two years, I acquired, I did so much work. I did, you know, three albums, four, five albums, if you want to count the Dynasty and the State Property album, and six, if you want to uh, count working on the Freeway Project, getting his album together, and uh, clothing line, sneakers with the pro cads, movies. You know, I had... Uh, and did I you get your full money from to, all those things, or was it one of those things nah, where... Nah, people got rich out me thinking out loud. Because I thought, I mean, I thought State Property and Pro Kids were, were your line, but I mean... No, they was my, they was, they, they was my, uh, my visions and my, my, my ambitions, but I just, I just didn't have the funds to, uh, to do it, and, and, and the people who had the funds, they ran with it, and I just didn't get my proper... Uh, break like state property clothing was driven by that was that was my 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 idea that was right. my birth that was my baby I only owned twenty percent of that company. Procast wanted to endorse me for wearing a Procast. I had the world wearing Procast instead of me taking an endorsement. Uh, thinking as a team player, I was like, why well, take this three hundred something thousand dollars for them to uh, let me wear? It for me to wear their pro cast where we could cross market it with state property, put the logo on it, let them do the marketing and we can get 50% of the profit mm. as a whole as the company because I'm thinking you know, as a team player and then find out like 
you, when them royalty checks supposed to come in every three months and six months go by, and then six turn to nine, it's like, yo, let me talk to Pro Cash with my check at. And then I'm getting a check from Armadale Rocker that I'm Armadale, you know, liquor that's supposed to have been a Pro Cash check. And then find out when once I'm locked out, lock, uh, was incarcerated that Dane bought the license out to Procaz and he was running it and instead of being straight up and you know I'm thinking Procaz playing with my money and it's right. Dame Dash playing with you, my money. You think if the business aspect of Rockefeller was different for you back then, the family aspect would be different now? Yeah, to keep it real, cause like I, I was a kid, man. I'm 20 something years old. I never had a manager uh, in my whole career. I never had an uh, accountant. So, and I was. Uh, uh, an asset. I was a commodity to Rockefeller. Like I said, people got rich off of my, you know, me thinking out loud. And, you know, Jay made a statement, Beans, I ain't trying to change you. I'm just give you some game. But where the game come from? The game was, yo, if I know that I'm making money, if I made a a $100,000, you made a million. Mm. So it's like, yo, you don't got no lawyer? No, I mean, you don't got no accountant? Yo, I'm, I got to get you an accountant. I got to get you this because I'm making you millions of dollars. You understand? So where was the game? Where was the sit down and like, yo, this is how you got to do this. We got to do this. We got to do that. It, it, that. None of that was there. Mm -hmm. None of that was there. It was like, yo, that's a dope idea. Let's do that. Right. Beans, you know, you they're going to laugh, but you should be a teacher. And the reason I say that, this is not no joking, because you've been in the industry, you've had millions, you see where things went wrong, and you could really help a lot of artists out there. A lot of people out there, because there's a lot of artists getting got. Yeah. Times 70, you know? Yeah. And you've, and you've seen it all. Yeah. You've seen the trials, the you've seen it all. Yeah. Well, September 12th, right? That is a date that you have to report. Yeah. How does, how, does that, how does that mess with your mind? Because you, you're celebrating on one hand because you know you got your independence, you got an album coming out, say properties back together. I've been down this road before. Yeah. I've been down this cobblestone road before. Um, I uh, Doing the Becoming, you know, when I when I did that, I uh, knew that I was going there and I did state prop. I did uh, a joint with uh, a mixtape, Public Enemy Number One, one of the best... Uh, Mixtapes and in, in, in the mixtape history. That was tough. That was a tough mixtape. Uh, the Becoming album. I went gold from a jail cell with with no promotion, no marketing, no nothing, and to sell four hundred and eighty something thousand records from a jail cell with nobody just paying no attention to the album at all because they thinking that uh, it's a lack of communication. You. You know, I'm in there, so when you got Dame saying that, yeah, when Beans come out, he's going to be on Dame Dash Music Group and this, that, and the third, and then you got State Property, which at no fault to them, they weighing their options and thinking of better choices to go with Jay because he's, you know, the bigger draw as far as to be able to go on tour and to make money as they thought at that time. I wasn't choosing between my friends, you know. So I I saw when the leniency came in, where when you got two people, if, if you couldn't have Jay, the next best thing, not to disrespect Bleak and nobody else is Beanie Siegel. So I saw when you know when Dane was you know came over and was we was a little more tighter than we was, especially yeah. when things were rocky with him and uh, Jay. Yeah, mm -hmm. he needed a plan B. Yeah, I was his plan B. Right. Yeah. Where does your motivation come from, though? Because it don't seem like you rap for money. Like it's never seemed like that. No, so I mean money's a good thing. You do take care of your children. You know what I mean? You can help you help people out the less fortunate. I uh, I, I do it for the have-nots, man. I'm 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 a sugar water baby. You know what I mean? I'm one of the. I, I come from a crack in the ground, a hole in the wall. I come from nothing. You know what I mean? I I I, I basically uh raise myself I'm self-taught with everything you know I left my home when I was 13 so uh I do it for the people who 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 who, who can't do it for themselves you inspired by any rappers out here now no I don't know about inspiring me man 
Are you, you thinking about doing anything like writing a book or, you know, describing maybe your life story? Yeah, my life is so colorful. I could do a lot of books. Yeah, so many different different aspects of my life that I can do a few of them. Is that something Actually, that you plan got, to do? Yeah, I got people. Uh, I got about six people that want to do a book on me now. Mm -hmm. I got, but would you do it yourself? Uh, yeah, I would do it. We'd love to hear that story. When we did the Rockefeller mixtape, it was a record that everybody talks about with you going at Kiss. And there was a, we, we uh, faded down the last verse. <laughs> Every mixtape person around nah, always asked stop. for that last verse. Is that, yeah. Did you, was there actually a, another verse? <laughs> yeah. 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 How much longer did it go on? Uh, my clip was full. It was going, it was going, yeah. it was going. Will you ever put that out? No. Nah. No, <laughs> no it, was, it, was, it, was, it was like four more records, too. I remember. That was more nastier than, mm -hmm. than that yep. one, but it was like, once I seen Kiss and, you know what I mean, me be, really being a fan of Kiss and it was just me making my bones in the game, you know. Uh, it was heads, people was bumping heads between Rockefeller and Rough Riders, and it was, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, like you said, I'm, I'm that team player. Thank God that got squashed, boy, because yeah. that would have been disgusting. Yeah, that would have been. That would have been, been, been nasty. So you, know, like, like, none of, you know, like, no new, no new rappers out here? Two chains. I'm, lo I'm, I'm loving what Ross doing, mm -hmm. you know, especially with uh, putting uh, Meek Mills on from the city, representing Philly. Mm -hmm. But, uh, Who don't you like? Is anybody you hear on the radio, you be like, ah, turn that off. I ain't, I ain't getting to that. I don't <laughs> like a lot of people. Right. That new, we getting that album with you and Faith? Will that ever really come to fruition or it's going to be like Detox? No, nah, we're going to do that. We ain't going to do that that long. We, we, you you going to get the, the Mac and Brad and you going to get the uh, me, me and uh, Jada talk yesterday. Y'all going to get that uh, Kiss the Mac album too. Mm. Dope. Well, this album is in stores this Tuesday. It's called This Time. Make sure you get it. Siegel, we appreciate you hanging with us. No prize. Always a pleasure, Envy. All right. It's The Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Beanie Siegel.